check the budget. Check the budget. Check the budget. Check it. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to go over my budget for the week. So essentially, I want to keep doing these because one, they keep me accountable and two, they keep you accountable. So throughout this week and every week for 2020, I'm going to check in with you guys on my weekly spend, my budget and like how everything is setting up. So for this week, the second week of 2020, I had a pretty low spend week. So on Monday, I spent $0. On Tuesday, I also spent $0. Uh, on Wednesday, I spent $3. I just got some soy milk because I needed milk to make my crunchy shake. And then Thursday, I also spent $0. And just to give you guys a heads up, this is not a typical week for me. I just know coming from the holidays, I have a large credit card bill, so I am trying to keep all of my spending as minimal. One second. Okay, so what was I saying? Yes. So for this week, I've just been trying to keep my spend as minimal as possible, just because I know in the back of my mind I have a large credit card bill to pay for a trip that I took recently to Toronto and all the Christmas presents that I bought everyone because I like buying presents for my family. So yeah, so I'm just trying to keep everything kind of low. And yeah, boop, 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 boop. On Friday, I ended up spending about $35. I bought like just random shit. <clears throat> I went to Target, I got like, you guys are gonna judge me. I actually got one summer's eve or one shaving cream there. Uh this is kind of like my favorite brand, but not my favorite scent. So I bought it just because I needed something <clears throat> to use that day. Um but then I bought this one on Amazon. It actually ended up being 30 cents cheaper and it's the scents I like. This one is lavender and the one I will be returning is vanilla. I also bought just some office supplies. So I bought some markers, some colored pencils, some tape. Uh, Target has sale going on where it was buy one office supply, get the next one for 25% off. So I ended up saving some money and when I crunched the numbers, it was actually cheaper than on Amazon. So I went ahead and did that purchase. And then I got Summer's Eve for people with vaginas. Um, so essentially this is just like a deodorant spray. I've never used any products like this before, but my best friend recommended it and my mom also uses Summer's Eve. So I was like, why the fuck not? Honestly, this is really nice. It's literally just deodorant for your vagina. And I didn't realize how much vagina sweat. So it's $5. Get it if you want it. I also went to Trader Joe's and I just bought some plants. So I bought this guy. He's adorable. I love him. What should we name him? Comment down below what I should name this new plant. And then I also got another girl. One second. I also got this girl. She's so pretty. I love her. I have these like little shelves in my room and I bought the plants just to be decorative and because I love plants. So all in all, I spent $35. Oh, the plants were about $10. I also got some Kleenex from Trader Joe's. And then everything I got from Target was about $25. I did come back home and made some purchases on Amazon. So I just got some belly button rings. I got this really cool one that's just clear, which I think would be good for like every day and just whenever I'm, you know, working out. So I'm not worrying about tarnishing a belly button ring. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend. And I got 10 belly button rings for like, $15 and if you go to like St. Mark's or the Lower East Side the, where the people just sell like the jewelry on the street it's literally like $15 for one ring so major plug I will drop the link below and then I also got this swell water bottle uh 
going to be completely honest i thought these were super expensive super overrated like couldn't imagine me getting one of these but guys this is actually very much worth it it keeps the water at like the perfect temperature like if you put warm water in this it somehow by magic cools it it's so cool so highly recommend it was a little bit of a splurge all in all my total on amazon was about 55 dollars uh but i ended up having a gift card so i paid zero dollars so that was my Friday spend, which ended up being in total $35 because I used my gift card for my Amazon purchases. And then on Saturday, I just bought a new battery for my camera. So I'm actually filming these videos on my phone. So here we are. I turned on my camera to start recording and realized that my battery was dead and I didn't know where the charger was. So I bought two new batteries and a new charger for my camera, which ended up being about $20 on Saturday and today's Sunday my lazy day so I'm probably going to just edit these videos to post tomorrow and do yoga and that's about it I'll probably find a coffee shop so let's say I spend $10 today on coffee who knows I'll edit and update here so all in all my weekly spend for this week was about $40 If you guys want a more detailed breakout about how I went every day, Monday through Sunday, without spending <laughs> more than $100 in New York City, feel free to check out my blog post below where I break out my daily spend by day, by hour. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next week for more budget checks. We've got to check the budget. Check the budget. Check the budget check it because if you have the budget and it's just somewhere in the universe and you're just spending however you want to spend it's not a budget it's just a list of numbers somewhere you got to check in on the budget check the budget so this is what we're doing we're doing budget checks because i need to check my budget it keeps me accountable and i hope it inspires you to be more accountable as well all right. Well, I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe below and I will see you guys next week for another budget check video. Uh, stay tuned. Later this week, I'll be dropping a beauty video and then yeah, we're going to be back on this YouTube grind. I hope you guys are excited. I am. Love YouTube. Love you guys. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> So make sure you click that link below that button that thing and subscribe you need to do that thing um and also if you want to follow me on my personal instagram it's at makeup xoxo <laughs>